a reaction. And when you're presenting the IPs, are able to pick out on the priority areas. for three days now and we've had a very very progressive and a very important engagement in this joint work, uh, work plan uh, meeting with uh, all our implementing partners and the county government. It's been very elaborate on how we as government and partners should partner and focus on areas. We have very very specific uh, areas that are required or that the government is handling. Uh, we have water and mass. We also have health. We have agriculture, which is our food base. We also have uh, trade and all other, and especially education. We have done our presentations here uh, to the partners, and we have also highlighted the gaps that need to be filled. Of course, uh, implementing partners are backup. They can only supplement and help the government where there are gray areas, but the government, of course, needs. So we are delighted by this process. And one thing to mention is these engagements should be regularized so that we have continuous engagements. We are able to understand our partners who are entering this county and what they're focusing to do so that we can straight identify the directors that can do that. We don't need to have partners who are doing something with the government or who are hiding. It's coming here, you declare that you have interest in this county government this county and you have these activities to run and of course the role of the government is to fit you in the directives that can help you. So I will be, so I will you know, so that people are able to proceed. After we put our man here, say agriculture, then we introduce our communities, we take them through the process, then can proceed and make the projects their own. The government can always monitor that. This way we will change the lifestyle a uh, food a uh, food basket of this country. This is one other thing that we must drive through so that we don't look like a spoon feed in the community. We take them through, we let them run the process. One other thing that we must partner on is monitoring and evolution. You know, value for money. You know, I see, we see massive budgets here in dollars, in euros, uh, being handled by partners. That money should be equal to the activity in the field. You know, so that we say, yes, the money that was allocated for health has been used appropriately. The money that's been allocated for water has equally been used appropriately. That way we can monitor, evaluate, and make a report. These are the areas that we must partner on. One other area that we must really put across is in, uh, continuous engagements. Even when we have no activities, we can meet and say, let's review our years back, or let's plan ahead together. And that is why I'm very impressed with the partners now that are coming out to join CIDP3, so that they're also able to catch up with what's being done in this county or what's being planned in the next five years. This is why in uh, open engagement, trustworthy and transparent engagement should be carried out. So uh, for me, I want to appreciate this process. It's a very, very enlightening process. It's a process where all of us can feel and say, yes, we belong here, and we handle, we handle the issues of this community, and we can also plan ahead. So personally, uh, on behalf of government, we can pass our gratitude to the partners, WFP, uh, Masiko, IRC, none them. There are many, many partners here. And they've come out strongly to say government will back you up where you are, where you have any situation. Even as government will back you. Because uh, giving you approval is already an indication to say we are partnering in a positive way.